Hey guys, this is Mike, also known as CoolBHO3K, and I'm here to demonstrate the newest version of SetCPU, SetCPU 3.0. And specifically, I'm going to look at the profiles today. Um, SetCPU 3.0 is a major update, and the main thing it's added is an all-new profile system. And I've made the profile system a lot more flexible and a lot more powerful and a lot more easy to use, so that... Um, so that it's really an overall improvement. Um, if we scroll over to the Profiles tab, the first thing you'll want to do is check the Enable Profiles box. And in case you didn't know what Set CPU or Profiles were, uh, Set CPU is basically a CPU control app for rooted Android phones. And what that basically means is it allows you to control um, your CPU's speed at all times. And um, so if you want high performance, you can set your CPU to a high speed. And if you want to save battery, you can limit your CPU speed by sliding the slider down. And what profiles allow you to do is basically um, specify what your CPU settings should be um, under certain conditions. For example, if you wanted your phone to limit its CPU speed when the uh, battery was under 50%, you can do that with set CPU profiles. Um, or if you wanted the phone to limit its CPU speed when um, the screen is off, you can also do that with profiles. And um, in set CPU 3.0, I've introduced a whole new profile system. And if you press the add button in the profiles edit screen, um, you'll see this uh, tab, which basically lets you specify what you want to happen before this profile turns on. So if you press add here, you can add a, a whole lot of um, conditions. Um, so let's try a battery level profile. Let's say when our battery is under 60%, we want to turn this profile on. And we want to limit the CPU speed to maybe a gigahertz maximum. Um, and we want to show a notification just to show that and um, you can see that you can name the profile now uh, in setcp 3.0 and it'll suggest a name for you and that name that it suggested is just fine and um, you, you can also give a priority to this profile just like in older versions of setcpu and if you don't know what that means I will explain that and this checkbox which is the exclusive checkbox I'll also explain that later so if you press next it'll add that profile for you automatically and you can see that since our battery is currently under 60 percent it has turned that profile on and it's shown us that notification so that's great but um, you could do this with the old versions of set CPU um, pretty easily but there's new features in set CPU that I think you'll really like um, if you press add and you add an app condition for example you can control um, what the CPU is running at when a certain app is running. So if we say Chrome Beta, let's say we want to do a browsing pro profile. Uh, so when Chrome Beta is on, we want to turn this profile on. So basically what the app profile does is it looks for whatever app you are currently running um, in the foreground, which, which app you're currently looking at, basically. So so you can use the app profile for web browsing, you can use it for games, you can use it for all sorts of apps. Any app you have installed or any app that um, comes with the system should work with the app profile. So for Chrome Beta, let's limit the minimum CPU speed to a gigahertz. Um, you know, just, just because we want the web browser to be as responsive as possible. We'll also show a notification um, just to see that it's working. And we want it to have a higher priority than the battery profile. Now, what does this mean? This means that if my battery is under 60%, um, if the other profile is true, and at the same time I'm using the Chrome Beta app, um, both profiles should be on at the same time, but often that doesn't make sense. So what the higher priority on this um, profile means is that it tells C set CPU um, to choose the Chrome Beta profile um, when both of those things are happening at the same time. Because this has a higher priority, 
set CPU should um, launch this profile instead of the battery profile when Chrome Beta is up. And I'll demonstrate that right now. So as you can see, we're on the battery under 60% profile because this profile isn't active right now. Chrome Beta isn't on. But when we launch Chrome Beta, we wait a bit for it to load. Um, you can see that the app Chrome Beta is now the active profile. If you tap this, it'll go back to the battery profile. And if you go home, it'll still be on the battery profile because we're no longer in Chrome Beta. So um, let's show you some of the more powerful features of the new set CPU profiles. Let's say that um, you want this to all happen, but when the screen is off, you don't want to be using uh, your app profile. You don't want to be limiting um, your CPU speed to a gigahertz minimum uh, when your screen is off, uh, even if you're in the Chrome Beta app, um, which is what it'll do right now. So if you press add, the Add button again, you can add multiple conditions now to each profile. And this is huge because this wasn't available in the older versions of Set CPU. You could only add a single condition per profile. So you can add a screen off condition or a screen on condition. So now what this will do is it'll turn this profile on when both of these things are true. So. It'll go back to the battery profile as soon as we uh, save that. But if we go to Chrome Beta, it'll, as expected, switch to the Chrome Beta uh, profile because the screen is on and we're in Chrome Beta. But if we turn the phone off, um, what Set CPU is um, saying is that since the screen is off, um, we're no longer in that profile because we have specified that we want the screen to be on and Chrome Beta to be running. And since only Chrome Beta is in the foreground right now and the screen is not on, um, fall back to the next available profile. Um, so as you can see, if we turn the screen on, it'll quickly switch from the battery under 65% 60 profile back to the app Chrome Beta profile because, you know, It, it was falling back to the battery under 65% profile when the screen was off. So not only can you add multiple conditions under a single profile in uh, set CPU 3.0, you can do other cool things too. Um, say you want a profile to turn on when either the internet app or the Chrome beta app is running. Since, um, since you might want to use both the default browser app and the Chrome Beta app, and you want to have a single profile to handle that. Uh, your first intuition might just to be add another con uh, might just to be just to add another app condition for you know the default browser app. In this case, we're using HTC Sense, so it's HTC's uh, default internet app. But this doesn't actually make sense because, um, as you can see. We're never going to switch into the Chrome Beta app, uh, Chrome Beta profile, even even if we go into the app. And that's because what this means is it means if Chrome Beta is on, and the internet is on, and the screen is on, um, are all true, then turn on this profile. But that doesn't make sense because. Uh, two apps can't be active in the foreground at the same time. You can't have the internet app be running uh, and be using it, and have the Chrome Beta app be running and be using it at the same time, because you can only be, in Android, you can only use um, one app in the foreground at the same time. So there's a way around this, um, and you can do that by deleting these two and adding another type of condition. Um, and in this case, you can add more conditions to this condition. And this condition is called any of these are true. And what any of these are true does is it looks at all of the conditions under it. And if even one of those conditions are true, it'll turn the whole thing on. So uh, let me demonstrate this. If I go into app, Chrome Beta, 
and then add the HTC Internet app. Now, what it'll do is it'll go, once you launch the Chrome Beta on, uh, app, it'll go, okay, the screen is on, and it'll check if any of these two are true. So in that case, it'll check if Chrome Beta is true. Uh, and once it gets to that, it'll go, okay, Chrome Beta is true, but Internet is not true, but that doesn't matter because we only want one of these to be true. So that'll turn, you know, the profile on. Um, and the thing is you can add as many... Uh, conditions to this as uh, as you want um, but we're just going to have that for now and now as you can see as soon as we launch Chrome Beta wait for that to load a bit it'll switch into Chrome Beta and what something I forgot to do is since it has you know two uh, internet apps now it doesn't make sense to call it App Chrome Beta anymore. So we can call that something like Web or whatever you prefer. You can name these profiles whatever you want. Um, what it's named right now uh, or what set CPU suggests really doesn't matter. So we just rename that to Web and launch Chrome Beta again. The Web profile comes on and we can launch the Internet app and the web profile comes on. And combining conditions under this, um, under any of these are true, is really powerful. You can make really almost any situation you can think of. And you can add further things to this. Um, this is an all of these are true, which checks if everything under um, it is true and only is only true when everything is true under is true, and none of these are true, which is the opposite of that. It, um, it's only true when like num none of the things under it are true. So uh, they're, they're both color-coded differently, uh, and you can add them to the top level like that, or you can add it under one of these. Whoops. So really, you can specify, you can specify any combination of logic um, that you want. So if you want to be an advanced user, you can, you know, specify a lot of different flexible profiles. But if you want to be a basic user, you can just stick to, you know, individual profiles and individual conditions. It's really all up to you uh, how you want to set it up. But it really gives you that option to be advanced and flexible. Um, so that's great. So one of the things I've been hearing is that um, people uh, don't really like the fact that when uh, some people don't really like the fact that when none of the profiles are on, you can set, uh, let's, let's set this to 14% because I know my battery is on under 14%. There's no longer a notification there. And in older versions of set CPU, as I said, you could set a global notification flag and it would give you like a default profile notification. And the behavior is still that um, when no profiles are on, it'll still fall back to your main screen settings. But in this case, it isn't notifying you. Uh, but there is a way to turn that on, and I'll show you. And this will also demonstrate that last setting in the last page, um, the exclusive checkbox. So, all right. So when we add this profile, we don't want to add any conditions to it. So what SetCP will do when it gets to this is that since there are no conditions, uh, it'll always say that this profile is true. And when we get to the next page, we want to uncheck these boxes. We don't want to set the CPU speed. We don't want to set the CPU governor. We don't want to do anything with the IO scheduler. We just want to show a notification. This profile is only to show a notification that we are on the main screen default profile. So uh, we can name this to something like default. And what you want to do is you want to set that priority to zero. You want this to be the least prioritized profile because um, because you only want this to be set when none of the other profiles are set. And then what you want to do is you want to uncheck the make this profile exclusive checkbox. What this will do is it'll go, okay, um, 
since this profile isn't exclusive, it'll uh, set CV will go, this profile can be on at the same time as any profile uh, under it in priority. So what it'll do is it'll show that notification like you told it to do, and it'll go under that, and it'll do whatever those profiles under it are doing. And since the default profile, which are the settings that you set on the main screen, is under every single profile you set, it's going to be under the zero priority. And so if you press OK, that's going to give you your default profile. And what SetCPU is doing is it's going, OK, since this default profile isn't exclusive, we're going to fall back. We're going to continue falling back, and we're going to set all these settings that you had in the main profile. In this case, the 1512 max and 384 min. So, all right, that's how to assign a notification to the main screen now. That's the new way to do it. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed um, basically walking through this tutorial. Uh, SetCB 3.0 uh, is available now on Google Play, and it really gives you a new level of flexibility in profiles and in controlling your rooted Android phone, basically. And now, I did. Demonstrate this is demonstrated this on an HTC One X, um, but this will work on a variety, almost all Android phones and tablets um, that are available uh, from Android 2.1 and up. So basically, almost all Android phones, uh, as long as you root it. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. My email is up on uh, Google Play, and I will try my best to get back to you. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll get back to you guys next time. Uh, leave comments, uh, favorite, whatever. Uh, thanks.